All right, so right there, uh, they are in a breakout session, but you just heard there that uh, the reduce in bond uh, not going to happen there, and you're seeing the reactions from uh, the parents there. And uh, even at times while this uh, hearing was going on, uh, you were hearing... Uh, uh, just seeing their reactions and now you can see that they are trying to communicate sign language with each other right now uh, as they are in breakout sessions with the attorneys here and it looks like uh, an officer has now come to make sure that that won't happen again We're but calling, uh, uh, docket number two one zero zero six six five two people versus Jennifer Crumbly and docket number two one zero zero six six five one people versus James Crumbly Please put appearances on the record, starting with the prosecuting attorney. Really becomes reality that for them as they hear uh, the prosecutor go uh, talk about uh, the different types of witnesses that they will be interviewing. 15 to 20, you heard. It looks like now uh, James is uh, communicating with his wife here. And, uh, and you could see from the uh, deputy there trying to tell him, I hey, can't do that right here. You got to stay focused there and not talk uh, to your wife. So there's strict communications between the defendants during court. It became known to us that during uh, certain Zoom breakout sessions, the defendants were making uh, certain gestures to each other. This court, through this court's inherent authority to restrict the communication judge, I did file a pleading, I believe it speaks for itself, and I do not believe there's an objection to the defense. Defense. Um, Your Honor, the the fact that the prosecution wasn't even aware of the communications until they were later told by other people shows that our clients weren't trying to do anything to disturb the court. All of the communication they didn't realize was being broadcasted. Um, they certainly didn't intend to hurt any of the victims from Oxford. Um, we, on that, we apologize to the court. I already told the prosecution I would tell the, our clients not to have communications at the table or send messages of I love you at the table. They agreed. There was no reason to file a motion. Our clients are will behave. They're not they're not gonna do anything like that. The careless whispers good They certainly don't think they'll find anyone. Thank you. Um, the court has had the opportunity to review and consider the motion that was filed by the prosecutor as well as the oral arguments. Um, I'm going to grant the motion as it relates to in-court proceedings. Mr. and Mrs. Crumbly, this is a court proceeding um, during the course of any breaks or while maybe I'm looking away or somebody else is looking away, you're not to have communication with each other. It's disruptive and it is disrespectful.